As a 3D artist, I've come to accept that AI is part of the future of our field, and so I try to incorporate it into my workflow whenever I can. One of the ways that I'm using it a lot at this moment is AI upscaling. The way that I get to do this is with my renders. Rendering, especially 3D animations, is one of those things that is costly to an artist in terms of time spent waiting for renders to complete. Imagine having to wait for thousands of frames of an animation to complete rendering. This could take days or even weeks to complete depending on a lot of factors. And if you don't have a separate machine for rendering, then it means that your rendering tasks can only be done when your machine is not in use, probably overnight. That's how it is for me anyway. Furthermore, the rendering process can also be quite expensive in terms of energy consumption since the process is computationally intensive, demanding higher CPU and GPU utilization. Power bills are never a good reading. Of course, there is the option of outsourcing all your rendering needs to a render firm, but it can be quite expensive as well. The one thing that they definitely do is save you time. For small artists like myself, that's not really an option at the moment. But if you are lucky enough to afford paying for their services, then they are a good option to explore. This is where AI upscaling comes into play for me. By now, you might be wondering, how does AI upscaling actually work? Or maybe that's just me, so I'll be quick about it, not to bore you with too much detail. At its core, AI upscaling involves using machine learning algorithms to enhance lower resolution images into higher resolutions. These algorithms are trained on vast datasets from which they learn how specific details appear when not pixelated. So, when you feed an image to an AI upscaler, it analyzes every pixel and its relation to its neighbors, then using the patterns it has learned, it generates new pixels to add in between. So how can all this be applied in a 3D workflow? For me, there are two ways in which I get to do this. The first one is using V-Ray's NVIDIA AI upscale feature found in the render settings under the denoiser option. According to its documentation, when enabled, the image is internally downscaled to half the resolution specified in the render settings and then upscales to the full resolution using NVIDIA technologies. This allows for up to four times faster renders, however, it can cause some loss of detail. We recommend using this option only for preview renders. For example, a 3840 by 2160 resolution renders the image internally in 1920 by 1080 and the AI upscaling denoiser produces the final 3840 by 2160 image from the lower resolution render. As recommended, I only use it with the interactive renderer during the look development phase of my projects. In less than a minute or so, I'm able to spot any issues my renders might have and change them immediately. The second way that I use AI upscaling is with my final render frames. I usually do my final renders in just over half the target resolution. For example, if my final render is supposed to have a resolution of 
1920 by 1080 or full HD then I'll do my render at 1280 by 720 or HD I then use Photoshop to upscale all the render frames to the final resolution this is done using a Photoshop action that I created that converts all the frames to the desired resolution as a batch. The action uses the Preserve Detail 2.0 feature of Photoshop, which is assisted by AI to do its upscaling, thus allowing it to preserve important details and textures. And so you may ask, is this the best way of doing all of this? Probably not. So is rendering the final desired resolution without the need for upscaling much better? Of course it is. But if time is a constraint or your machine is not powerful enough, then this can be an option for you, just like it is for me. Let's use our current scene as an example. This frame took 2 minutes. 11.4 seconds to render in HD resolution and 3 minutes 15.9 seconds to render in full HD resolution. By rendering in HD instead of full HD, I saved myself 1 minute 4.5 seconds. I can then upscale the image to full HD using Photoshop in less than 10 seconds. Scale this up to thousands of frames and the time saving is huge. Mind you, I'm using a Dell Precision laptop for all of this. If you have a more powerful computer than that, then your time saving could be even more. And that is why I appreciate AI upscaling so much. The technology really saves me a lot of time when rendering my 3D animations. I may not fully comprehend the inner workings of the algorithm behind AI upscaling, but I definitely appreciate the results it has been giving me so far, even though it's not perfect yet.